Hi guys, in this video I want to explain to you bitwise operators. So instead of showing that on a whiteboard, I decided to write a code because I think it's the best way of explaining bitwise operators. So in this code, we have three variables. They are one byte unsigned integer numbers. And I assigned the following binary numbers to x and y. Also, we have this function. You don't need to worry about that because I use this function to print binary numbers. So basically, bitwise operators are quite similar to logic gates. But unlike in logic gates, we, we do operations for all digits or of the number. So first um, uh, bitwise operator that I want to show is and bitwise operator. So we use ampersand symbol to represent that. So if we do and logic a to all um, bits of the number, so we start let's say from the more significant bit. So we have one one and as an output we have to get one. Then we have one zero. So since we have and logic gate, we get zero. So if we do the same operation to the rest of the uh, pairs of bits, we, we get zeros. So let's print the value of Z. So we get the expected number. So this is end bitwise operator. Next uh, bitwise operator that I want to show is or bitwise operator. So we use vertical bar to represent that. So if we do or logic gate to to these digits, so we get one. So we have to get one in all of the digits because always we have one input which value is one. So let's check that. So as you see, we get the following value. Next logic, uh, the bitwise operator that I want to show is called one's complement. It is similar to not logic gate. So we use the following symbol to represent that, which is basically inverting the values. Okay, so if we invert the the digits of this number, we have to get, I guess, zero, 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 one, zero, one, one, zero. So let's run it to see that. And as you see, we get the same result on the console. Next is XOR bitwise operator and we use the following symbol to represent that. So this is XOR. So if we use XOR, so let me write the truth table. When we have one and zero, we get one. Then when we have one, zero and one, again we have one. In the rest of the cases, we have to get zero. So, if we look at more significant bits, both of them one, so we have to get zero. Then we have one, one, one. I guess the rest has to be one. So, 
so let's check that and we get the following value which means that our logic is correct in addition to this bitwise operator we have also right shift and left shift uh, bitwise operators so to represent right shift we used uh, greater than symbol twice so right shift which is basically shifting all the bits to the right so basically we have the, f the same value but we remove the last digit and we add 0 as the most significant bit so if we run this then we have the same value instead of 1 you can insert 2 or 3 or any other number so there will be the same logic then finally we have left shift operator so we use less than symbol to represent that so let's shift by two bits in this case uh, we have to shift to the left so basically it means adding two zeros at the end because we are shifting by two bits and we have to remove the two more significant bits so finally we have to get the following value so let's check that and finally we get the correct result so all of these are bitwise operators that we will use using all of these bitwise operators we will manipulate the binary numbers and also of course instead of um, printing the binary number you can also print the decimal or hexadecimal uh, value for instance if I press let's say if I write let's say Z we have 164 so if you convert this value to decimal you have to get the same value so see you in the next video